Hey everybody, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. Uh, I'm out here doing some stuff with the Junkyard Jewel and before I tear it down and start to clean it up and get the heads off so I can get the busted studs out and stuff, I thought I'd do something that people have asked me for a bunch of times and I just haven't had the opportunity to do. But now I do, now that I have another LS engine here. Um, so let's go through and they're all a little bit different, right? This is like an 03. O2, I think it's an O2 uh, LQ4, so like an O5 might be a little different, um, but you'll get the general idea. And I, what I want to do is go through which sensors you need and which sensors you don't need, what each one does, because I get that it's a little overwhelming for people. It's not if you turn your level of care down to like zero and just hook the whole harness up and ignore it, but. We'll go over everything here real quick. This is a drive-by cable. I, I've had a few comments, oh, you prefer drive-by cable. You, I, I don't care. I don't care if it's drive-by cable. I don't care if it's drive-by wire. It's a little easier to tune drive-by wire stuff. Um, it's a little easier to hook up drive-by cable stuff. I wanted, I, I wanted the best engine I could get for my money, and this happened to be it, and it happened to be drive-by cable. So that's how that worked. Um, I'll start right here with this giant gaping hole that's looking at us. Uh, this is where the EGR tube goes, and I removed the whole thing. Um, my other LQ4 had that plug from the factory, or in the truck I took it from. There's a freeze plug that'll fit that. They sell a couple different things. Uh, I'll cover that when the time comes, but that's what that is, EGR. This is your purge canister right here. Um, again... They sell a little doodad that fits right there, or you can put an IAT there. If you're gonna do a turbo, it has a line that goes off in the, the tank somewhere. Um, but yeah, you don't need that, that can go. This here is your idle air control motor, which you only have if you're drive-by cable, you won't have if you're drive-by wire. Gotta have it, it's like a choke. Down below, it's a TPS sensor. Got to have that throttle position sensor. It's got to know, you know, where the foot's at, what, when the party starts. The alternator has a little two-plug uh, prong plug so the PCM can excite it. This little red box, you don't have to keep it. Some people want to, some people don't. This is the junction to the battery down to the starter. This is where... On an LS, this is where everything meets your hot wire to your starter, your hot wire off your uh, alternator. That's where all that goes. It looks like I broke my coolant temp sensor, but that's what this is in the side of the head. Got to have it. PCM's got to know what the uh, coolant temp is in order to make tuning decisions. The move down here, this one had an oil cooler on it, uh, so those lines go up and forward. I'll, I'll, there's a little bypass plate that goes whoop. I'll be using that instead. Uh, these are your coil packs. They have a giant plug that plugs in and then each individual one plugs. Injector plugs, uh, they go to the harness. This is your fuel pressure regulator, which you only have up until like 03. Um, this is vacuum reference to the uh, manifold so it maintains your fuel pressure at 58 psi the newer trucks do that in the uh, filter in the back so you might have one line you might have two it really doesn't matter unless you're going boost and then I like this right here is your map sensor absolutely essential gotta have it can't get rid of it sometimes these are plugged sometimes they're not this was a hydro boost truck so it's plugged you can pull that out. You can see how I can work that out. That's where your brake booster will go. This is your oil pressure sensor. Um, you can take that out and replace it with a plug for a mechanical gauge. You can leave that in and get it get oil pressure through your PCM. Totally up to you. Next to it's the cam sensor. This is an older engine, so the cam sensor is in the rear of the block. On newer ones, they're up in the timing cover. You'll hear people talking about that. Absolutely essential. This that goes up under the intake is for the uh, knock sensors. People keep asking me if they can delete them. You can. I don't know why you would. I don't know why you wouldn't want to know that your engine's knocking. Uh, 
especially when you're trying to do party stuff, you know, nitrous, turbo, you, I want to know if my engine's knocking. Um, down below, behind the starter, that's your crank sensor. Absolutely essential, got to have it. Up here is your uh, starter, which wires exactly like any other starter. This is your trigger wire. This is your hot um, 12 volts constant here, 12 volts trigger here. It'll crank it over. We can actually do that in a moment, or I'll probably do it for a separate video, actually. Down below, that's your oil level sensor. You don't have to have it. You can delete it. Um, they make a little plug that goes in there. You can find a giant bolt. I think it's like a 15 millimeter thread, maybe 18. I'm not sure, but I might. I, I usually plug them because that, that sensor's plastic and I don't want it to get knocked off while I'm swinging it around. Up next, this is my air compressor for AC. You can see here it's on a separate belt. So this whole bracket there's three bolts here to the block and the whole thing will pull off and you can just cut the belt and you don't have to keep it if you don't want AC. I want AC if I'm at all able to keep that. Uh, we'll see when I start test fitting this into the olds. But this is for my wife, so AC is absolutely essential. Um, let me see what else do we got. Heater hoses here, that's what these are. Just hook yours up or use the stock. In, in my C10, I was able to use Silverado ones. This one's got a weird T to it. I don't know why. Uh, this is a coolant. It keeps the throttle body warm. I usually just cut it off and leave it. Uh, we touched on the uh, steam ports in the other video. Let me see. I think that's pretty much it. That pretty much covers the whole thing. Um, GTP, baby. Yeah, that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and pull the intake off here and start cleaning up. I got some degreaser. Um, start cleaning this up and get ready to see about taking these manifold busted bolts out and stuff like that. So if you have any questions, leave them below or hit up the driveway engineer Facebook group. There's a lot of guys on there. It, things are growing really fast. I can't keep up with everybody. Um, I'm just not able to. Oh, the coil packs. I'll go ahead and touch on these. These happen to be the heat sink ones that everybody wants. My other, my truck doesn't have those and I don't care as usual. Uh, whatever's there is fine just use them just you know come on people what making stuff so crazy complicated but yeah um if you have any questions hit me up i'll try to answer if i can or hit up the driveway engineer facebook group and there's plenty of guys on there that know as much or more than me um i'm just a mouthpiece at this point so i'm gonna get ahead go ahead and get started tearing this thing down to nothing and we'll see you back here on the driveway engineer thanks for watching